No time at all. Oh, an old world wreck. I wonder what it was for. Can't always be perfect. Ooh, good stuff in here. Let's take it steady. thing. So mysterious. And off we go! And that's the last bathroom break you're getting! Hey! We have rights, you know! Found some of the prisoners. Now to clear out the guards. Another great landing. Savior. And it's you, isn't it? The girl who grew up outside the village. She whose mother is a mystery. Uh, sure. But you can call me Aloy. Oh, wow. An outsider. So different. So glamorous. So... In need of a good tailor. That's me. Tab the tailor. Do you cosplay? Because, oh boy, do I have costumes for you. I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds exciting. I'll make you an outfit as soon as I get back to Mother's Heart. Don't forget to come see me at my shop. Oh, fresh air. Rem <laughs> Look at the state of my shop. How am I supposed to keep Mother's heart at the forefront of fashion with this mess? Let me see what I can do. I'm getting pretty good at building stuff. You're the best, Aloy. Though many of its people were still missing, Aloy was pleased to see life at Mother's heart was returning to normal. With Teb the tailor back in his shop, maybe she could celebrate with a brand new outfit. Because who doesn't love dressing up, hmm? While she'd been trying on outfits, Aloy heard an interesting bit of town gossip. A gigantic creature had been seen in the wilds, giving the villagers even more reasons to worry. She decided to investigate at once, because, well, who wouldn't? Frost? When we find Tirsa, she will tell me who my mother is, right? No more mysteries? Of course. 
She's wanted to since the day she brought you to me. You were such a strong baby. Very muscular. But she knew where to find me. Why keep me in suspense my whole life? And now that it was finally gonna happen, these strange cultists attack. Ugh, talk about bad luck. Nothing to do with luck, Aloy. I think they came because of you. Because of your destiny. Me? I'm just a girl with a bow. Oh, you're much more than that. All Mother marked you for bigger things. That's why you have a very important destiny. Why are you talking like that? What? Just trying to add a bit of drama. We got enough drama already. So, what big destiny and why is it so important? Beats me. Tersa can tell you everything when we find her. But she can't do the voice, though. Thing. So mysterious. Our heroes came upon a secluded clearing where they found three mysterious chests and an odd trader who demanded no payment. Who was he? And why was he waiting in the middle of nowhere with these treasures? The chests and I have awaited your arrival. Sure. Uh, hello there. Whoa! Uh, are you okay? Oh yeah. See that falling technique? High degree of difficulty that one. I'm Varl, a great Nora warrior. Sort of. Oh, day. Varl. We spoke to your mom. She's worried about you. Yeah, she always worries. But I'm gonna show her just what I can do. I'll show everyone I've got what it takes to be a hero. You'll see. Okay, gotta go. Oh, that was a good one. Be careful. Oh, yeah, recovery. Oh, he is really good at that. Oh, an old world wreck. I wonder what it was for. The sun was kind of in my eyes, but that was a wing for sure. Still got stuff to do here. Won't be bothering anyone now.
Whoa! Look at that! It's so tall! And so... Hecky! Oh, there it is again. I wonder where it's going. Aloy had heard stories of the gentle, majestic machines known as Talnegs. They strolled the wilds like colossal wanderers and were set to carry gold bricks on their flat heads. And everyone knows that only gold bricks could rebuild a village like Mother's Heart. Uh, just don't ask me why. It's just one of those things. Kick some pot plants. Huh? We are unstoppable. Oh, <laughs> 